On this episode of Inspired Cooking, I'm going to show you how to make savory spinach waffles topped with a delicious salsa and black beans. These waffles are crispy on the outside, soft on the inside and just plain delicious. The detailed recipe is in the description box below the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Sundays with Sam and also to a brand new episode of Inspired Cooking. On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make savory waffle tacos or wackos as I like to call them. Now in case you're wondering, why fix something that's not broken? Why replace tortillas with waffles? And the reason for that is I like to cook all of my food from scratch. And cooking tortillas as delicious as they are from scratch for a large family of five like mine can be pretty tedious. Waffles are much simpler, your waffle maker does all of the work and they turn out just as delicious. So give this recipe a try in your kitchen and don't forget to let me know how it turned out. Enjoy! In a bowl, mix together a cup and a half of whole wheat flour, half a cup of ragi or finger millet flour, two teaspoons baking powder, two teaspoons baking soda, half a teaspoon of turmeric, a pinch of paprika, a pinch of cinnamon and some salt and pepper to taste. You can also add in some oregano, some coriander, some thyme, rosemary, any spices that you like. Sieve the mixture into your bowl and mix it properly. It's extremely important that all of your wet ingredients are at room temperature. Take two eggs in a bowl and beat them properly. Add a tablespoon of melted ghee and then add in a quarter cup of pureed spinach. Now add in a cup and a half of milk slowly. You don't need to beat this mixture too hard. Now gently fold your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients without over mixing. You want a batter that's lump free. Add in the tiniest amount of water to adjust the consistency of your batter if it's too thick. And now for the final ingredient. Adding in a capful of vinegar in the end will ensure that your waffle is nice and fluffy. Remember, don't over mix your batter. My waffle iron has been heating for 5 minutes which is about the time that it took me to mix the wet and dry ingredients. I've used a ladle full of batter for my waffle iron because that's what it specifies. A good way to know if your waffles are done or not is to only lift the waffle iron when it stops smoking from the sides. My waffles were ready in about 5 minutes. My waffle is perfectly done. It's crispy and golden on the outside and nice and fluffy on the inside. For your salsa, mix together one large finely chopped onion, one tomato, some steamed sweet corn and some coriander. Top this off with a nice generous helping of lemon juice and salt and pepper. Mix well. Now for the sauce. In a bowl mix together some Greek yogurt, some Dijon mustard, some mayonnaise and then top it off with salt and pepper. Mix well and then add in some water to adjust the consistency to your liking. I like my sauce to be slightly thick and not too runny. A handy tip, assemble your wacko just before you're going to eat it, otherwise your waffle will get soft and limp. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for regular updates from Sundays with Sam.